I'm not really sure what to do with her. Wait a second. You didn't have that one when I was here last. Two for one right now. Wait a second, you had four. Follow the law, deck the halls, all that stuff. Sunday. I'm a little concerned with her, but I don't get usually too panicked unless I see them actively straining, like actively pushing, and nothing coming out. But I did see discharge last night out of her, so I thought maybe she would have had a baby by now. I'm not really sure what to do with her. Other than that, no one's lambed. This is weird. I feel like I should probably take her for a walk and just do an internal because that's what my gut's saying anyway. Well, I'm glad I listened to my gut and I moved this ewe into the pen. Um, she, I just helped her give birth to twins. Hello. This one's really little. This one was coming out backwards and mom was barely dilated, so this was the problem. Um, so we're just letting, I'm just letting her bond and lick them off. You're so vocal. She's got lots of milk, but my only concern is the size of her teeth. I'm just a little concerned, this little mouth. I'm just afraid your physics isn't gonna work. And if we have to, I will take some milk out of mom and feed them a bottle. I just want mom to clean you off first. You're a little goopy. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing about knowing when to interfere. You know, last night I probably could have checked her. Because she looked the same as she did last night when I went into the house, I was a bit concerned. And if she wasn't doing those facial expressions, like when they do a yawn, like they really expand their jaw, like they're in pain. So it's not a yawn. It's more like a, it's kind of the opposite of grinding their teeth kind of a sign too so I'm like I just I just had a feeling and it never really hurts to just bring them into an area where you can do an evaluation you can do an internal on them I'm just glad I took the time and checked her this morning all right I'm gonna move you so mom can reach you or the other one's gonna get all the love going in hey mom you had two there's your dirty one I think I just got it on my camera Well, I'm back after lunch. I had a ewe that ha was showing some sure signs of labor, some discharge uh, mucus plug, actually, so I thought for sure she'd lamb within an hour. Well, it's been, it's been much longer than an hour, so I am just gloved up. I got her in a lambing pen. Hi, you're so lovely. Oh, it doesn't smell very good. That's never a good sign. Oh, right on my leg. <sighs> doesn't smell good, which usually is a sign the lamb is dead. And could be why she's in labor. Oh. I don't know. Oh, it's not dead, you're alive. It's alive and beautiful. Hello. Hey, Mom. What was the matter? What was the matter? 
Not even a very big oh. one. Sheesh. Now the, the second one's backwards. So that could have been part of the problem. You ready, Mama? You ready? These ones suck, I know. Oh, slip right out. Don't breathe them in. Oh, you're so pretty. You have freckles. Oh, you're so pretty. Hey, Mom. You're so pretty. Yeah. So pretty. Do I get one more? Hey, okay. what's up? I think that's it. You all right? Thank you for milk. Good. Good. Good mommy. Good mom. You're beautiful. This one's got freckles, it's really cute. Good morning. Well, this afternoon uh, escalated quickly. I have one that just lambed. I had one that lambed a couple hours ago with a, a lamb that I think isn't right up here. I tubed it a couple hours ago, but it's not doing well. There was another one that was looking like she was starting labor. I threw her in a pen and checked her and she wasn't dilated, but it looks like she's lambing now. Hello, mom. Okay, I'm gonna let her do her thing, but I wanna check this one. It's the one that wasn't dilated. And this is the one that was, it's not doing well at all. Give me a monkey. There. Both are primed. Two for one right now. Oh boy. That's a big lammy. Yeah. Hey. Here you go. We have Suri. And one huge lamb here. Wait a second. You didn't have that one when I was here last. You had three. Hi, guys. Oh, that's amazing. Hello, little one. You're a little shocker. These triplets are huge. Who do I have this morning? I couldn't leave her there. I just couldn't leave her. Let's go 
check the babies. There's a baby. Oh, there's another baby. Brand new. That's not yours. Stop stealing. Hey, Mama. All right, let's move these before someone falls in love. That's not yours. Good morning. I had to plug in my tree. Lambs look really good. So I just had a set, the set of twins, I moved into the lambing pen here. So all is good, mom and babies. I also pulled in a ewe that's starting to land. She's by the water bowl. She's hiding from me. Uh, what happens is when I go to get these ewes, they all run to the back, as you can see. Lucy, I'm talking. And that's where she's trying to lamb. And I'm like, oh, they're like in her space. So I grabbed her and brought her in here. And I'm going to let her just wander around this pen. Stop, you're fine. Okay, I thought I'd take a couple seconds and open some gifts that you guys have sent me. This is from Cheryl. Where'd you go, Billy? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Look how beautiful. It's Billy! Thank you, Cheryl. That's going on the tree. Karen, who sent me all those chocolates, sent me more stuff. A picture I took on Instagram of me in the buggy, or Jess in the buggy. I can't even remember who was in the buggy, but it was Wheat Harvest. Gorgeous. And I think some tricolored or multicolored corn kernels up close. And some beautiful, I don't know if I took this picture or she took this picture. I can't remember. I took a lot of pictures of wheat up close. And some masks too. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I got a whole big gift pack from Anne. Thank you, Anne. Jane got me, where's Jane from? Uh, Wisconsin. She got me um, a really nice note and uh, some do some books. So thank you, Jane. This is from Emma. This is from Emma. It's a um, beautiful, like, magic bag. Isn't that awesome? Thank you, Emma. This one's from Leanne and... Leanne, I don't know who told you, but I'm pretty sure these are mint smoothies. I haven't opened them, but you said they're from Rio Thompson's, which is in Stratford, which is like the mother load of all chocolate places. Stop, Kim, Lucy. And uh, so she sent me a box of chocolates and a really nice notepad. Thank you, Leanne. This one's from Fran, the committee. Isn't that amazing? I think she wants me to do a um, calendar, which is a really good idea for maybe 2022. <laughs> Thank you guys for sending it. I love the sheepishly me tree. That's amazing. What a great idea. Anyway, I gotta go. Well, I haven't picked up my camera all morning because it has been a gong show. So the good news is I think feeding midway through the day is helping my night lambing, but oh, whoa, they, the morning has been ridiculous. I've already filled up this first pen. Um, granted, I'm not putting as many in this first little area, so I've already set up for the second pen already. But look at how many lambs we've had this morning. She's a full house. First of all, let's start at the very end because I've already opened up this area. So once the lambs are tagged and everything's observed and recorded, then I start tearing down a few um, lambing pens to make their to make a bigger area for them, and then they have access to the water bowl and feed, and it's easier. It's easier to feed, easier to water, all the things. So that's what I do. Um, so, oh, oh, so cute! All the ones that are tagged are from the weekend, so everybody's up to. Date. These were born just before lunch. Well, this one just had a fourth one and it was still born. Darn it. So she had two this morning and then she spit out a third tiny itty bitty baby. I think that's the one. I don't know where it is. 
right here. Look how small she is. So she had four, she had four, and all four of hers were backwards. I've never had that before. One, two, three, four. She had four, but one was stillborn, so three remain. But they're lovely. Good girl. She had two. She had three, but one was kind of mummified, so she's left with two nice ones. This one had three, but one was stillborn, so we've had quite a few stillborns this morning. And then the rest are from yesterday. So yeah, it's been busy. And right now there's one lambing at the back, and I'm kind of trying to let her do her own thing. I've been having to assist in a lot of them, and then when I choose to, <gasps> wait a second, you had four. Hold that thought, mama had four. One, two, one laying down, three, four, you had four. When did you sneak those? She literally had two over lunch because she only had two when I left. Good mommy. Oh my goodness. So this is the mom I just brought up from the back and she gave me a really nice set of twin Suffolk lambs, and they're really cute. Good job, Mom. So this one's yellow compared to that one. Uh, when I pulled the second one out, uh, there was poop in the water sack, and that's why they turn all yellow. It's called meconium staining. But Mom will have it all licked up, and it should be... In a few days it should look like that. There's some other things I just learned today and I'm dying to, to show you guys because uh, part of the reason I share is uh, because I'm learning but today I was really really discouraged because I knew the comments would uh, kind of throw me in a bit of a spiral and um, but luckily uh, a Krista off Instagram a, a lady that I follow on Instagram she sent me a link. I'm going to try to remember to, future Sandy, when you're editing this, please remember to put this in the description. It's a beautiful, beautiful article written by a woman who uh, talked about reviving her lambs and how, um, how she does it now and she learned it actually from a cattleman. So I want to include it in the link because it's exactly what my vet told me to do, except I think I've been doing it, I think I've been doing one step a little wrong so I want to show you what the article says. I'm gonna grab one of these guys just to show you what what uh, this article kind of said to do for a lamb if you had to revive it. Come here sweetie. Okay so okay so what I was told to do is when you're trying to revive them they're supposed to be like a froggy and I was always told toes to nose so I always put the, the front I always did this. I had them laying kind of like this, so so they'd be like that more. So all toes to nose. And I think that article said to actually keep these bent, the front, <laughs> not helpful to do on a lamb that's healthy. Hello, yes, you're gorgeous. And I think your actually legs have to be bent and then the back toes are to the nose like a frog. So they're kind of like, kind of like that like that let's see can you see so it kind of looks like a frog and that is supposed to clear the airways okay so we're gonna try that next time okay. yes you're back with your mommy now we'll keep you posted if that works hopefully I have no more lambs born with fluid on their chest and I won't have to I won't have to verify that this group that is lambing I made this realization late last night, or I would have shared it with you. They last lambed in April, and that group was their babies. Isn't that amazing? Like how much they grow in, what, eight months? So yeah, they would have been in this pen with their babies, and they are now in there. Well, some of them, some of them are June babies, but well, the majority of that group is my April group, which these were the moms. Pretty cool, eh? I just thought I would share that. Yeah. 
something else I did this morning was get my milk machine ready to go. So I have the hoses on. Um, the one thing I remembered why we angled the milk machine that way, even though it was awkward to fill, the hoses, because the hoses are on the front of the machine, it was just a lot closer to the pen, especially when those lambs are just getting onto the machine. You want the hose as small as you possibly can have it because it, it's fed by suction, so they have to suck really, really hard the longer the hose is. So good if you want to wean them, not great if you're trying to train them. So we will test it. I have the, uh, the hose right now attached to the, to the hole that's the closest to the pen, so I'm hoping it'll be all right. I do have to fill it. I have my, um, I have my powder already ready to go, so I just have to fill it in the morning. I wanna wait till I have enough lambs. They're not quite ready. They need one more day, and then I can pull quite a few off their mums and put them on the machine. The machine will, will keep warmer and keep fresher if there's more lambs on it, and they will actually get on the machine a lot better if there's, if there's a lot competing for it, because they're kind of monkey see, monkey do. If one gets on it real good, the other ones get inquisitive and they kind of learn from each other. There's a couple that are looking like they want to land, but I don't want to interfere. So I'm trying to find jobs so I don't, so I don't butt in and be a hover mother. Um, I want to hang all the Christmas cards you guys have been giving me. I want to hang them on like a piece of twine because that's what I use. I'm going to like string them on the side of this. And I also want to start, I also want to start to hang my new ornaments from you guys. So let's do that. I'll put it on time lapse so you don't have to, and we'll listen to Christmas music and follow la, deck the halls, all that stuff. All right. My awesome snowflake here. And my Billy. The sheepishly me tree. You guys are amazing and I love you all so, so much. Well, we are almost at shift change time again already. We just gave birth. I actually had it on Instagram live. So if you are on Instagram, um, I'll throw my handle here if you don't follow me over there. I do sneak in an Instagram live. I try to do that a few times every lambing and I caught this one lambing. So that's over on my feed. So if you missed it, it should be on my feed. So you should be able to see it still. Look how cute that is. You're so cute. So she had triplets. Uh, there's the two from before. Doing really well. And this one just had a set of twins. Twins are good. But yeah, it's been a crazy busy day. I'm probably going to sign off here. Uh, if Carissa needs me, then I'll come back in tonight to give her a hand. Uh, but I think I'm going to let her take over. But that's pretty much all we have for today. Every day is kind of the same. And yet every day is so completely different. Because every day there's some sort of challenge. And today it seemed to be some stillborns. Um, but all in like a big litter of lambs. So I don't think I've really... I mean, I hate losing lambs, but... I hate losing them more if they're single. So I'm gonna sign off here and I'll see you guys in the morning. Take care. Thanks for being here. Working hard, Lucy? Are you working hard?